Oil doesn't heal hair, okay? It just moisturizes the outer layer. If you actually want to heal hair, research on bonding. Oiling your scalp can actually be leading to more dandruff because you're giving the dandruff, which is a sort of yeast, a moist environment for it to grow more faster. So research on the type of oil you're doing and how much time you actually let it on your scalp. After you shampoo and condition your face, make sure to wash your face because you do not want any of that shampoo and conditioner residue on your face, which could lead to closed comedons. Acne pits is a dermal scar, meaning that it's in the middle layer of the skin and any skincare that you put is only meant for the outer layer, which is the epidermis. You cannot expect a skincare that you put on your epidermis to penetrate all the way through the epidermis and go to the dermal layer and actually cause an effect. If any product is selling you that, it's a marketing gimmick. Brush your teeth before you wash your face. Make sure to shampoo your hair at least two to three times a week, depending on how oily your scalp gets. When you have an oily scalp and you sweat, the sebum that comes from your scalp could land up on your forehead and cause closed comedons. You do not need another active, you do not need another product. If your products are not working on your acne and hyperpigmentation, maybe it's time that you look at your skin barrier. Research on skin cycling, cycling method and the sandwich method, including skin barrier focus. Toothpaste could be causing your lip hyperpigmentation. So you want to try using a more chemical free toothpaste that is free of fragrance, flavors or SLS. Or you could put a thick layer of Vaseline before you brush your teeth. Your anti-aging routine, the creams, your masks are not going to work if you're not looking after your collagen. Your collagen is what gives your skin elasticity and the firmness. SPF for the lips is something that's been overlooked even by myself. So today you need to go out and get yourself a good formulated fragrance-free, flavor-free lip balm that has SPF.